Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have some more news today, some pretty cool stuff, so as always, let's get straight to it. The very first thing that I have for you guys is our first glimpse at the prototype for the upcoming Beasts of the Mesozoic Allosaurus, and man does this thing ever look awesome, like easily one of the greatest Allosaurus figures that has ever existed in my opinion. The sculpt is absolutely gorgeous, we can clearly see there's no paint application or anything on it quite yet, I'm sure that'll come in due time, but just taking a look at the actual printed out prototype and everything and just looking at how cool it looks, you know, has me so hyped for this release along with all of the other amazing species and models that will be coming for this line in the near future. On top of that, I also wanted to show you guys an update from Jurassic Justin as he recently uh, revealed a really cool Dimetrodon, a retro revival Dimetrodon. But unfortunately, the sales of that figure for some reason haven't gone quite as well as he was hoping. And he's relying on the sales of that figure to fund the retro revival line in general and kind of get that up off the ground and moving. So he has gone ahead and created another figure to kind of help with the process as he is going to release another Scorpius Rex. Now this is actually going to be sort of a different version of the Scorpius compared to the ones that we've previously seen. There's not going to be like an adult, a juvenile, anything like that. It's just going to be one strictly regular Scorpius Rex figure updated uh, compared to the previous versions and I'm really excited for it again I actually have both of the previous Scorpius Rex figures from Jurassic Justin both are incredible and I know many people were hoping for him to release another run of those figures even though they are sold out so this is probably the next best thing your next chance to have an articulated Scorpius from Jurassic Justin is definitely this figure so once this goes up for sale I will let you guys know so you can grab one before it sells out I also wanted to let you guys know that the Megatherium from Passion Charger is officially up and ready to go, available for sale. It is available in two different scales. We have a 135th scale version and a 118th scale version. That's pretty much the standard when it comes to the Passion Charger line as they usually produce two different size ranges, you know, depending on what type of a collector you are. I often stick with the 135th scale size range as that's pretty much what everything I've acquired from them so far is which is really cool to continue to have them all again in one scale where you can display them next to each other and show how accurate they look in size and everything compared to each other but again it is available currently for sale for the 135th scale version the price would be 180 us dollars including shipping and for the 118th scale version the price would be 320 us dollars including shipping and uh, definitely some really cool stuff here really love the sculpt and everything if it's a passion charger release you know it's going to be excellent and in my opinion this is probably the best megatherium i've seen so far from anyone so absolutely worth picking up if if you are a fan of this species so i will include a link in the description to where you can contact them on facebook and if you do not have social media you can contact me and i can contact them for you also as far as nanmu goes they've recently given us some more images of the upcoming dinosaur kits that they are releasing as we have a spinosaurus and there's also a t-rex and a velociraptor coming here, though, we only have a look at the actual Spinosaurus and then an image here of the Spino and the Rex together, kind of showing off what they are like size-wise next to each other. They both look incredible. I'm actually really hyped that Nanmu is releasing some models in this way where you can kind of paint them yourself or just keep them, you know, the solid tone of color that they would come in. Really excited to actually paint my own Nanmu models and stuff. And, you know, I love having, of course, the models from Nanmu that are fully finished and everything. That's absolutely awesome. But it's just cool to have, kind of, you know, switch it up a little bit, have something a little bit different. And in something that is extremely exciting news, Nanmu not long ago kind of like hinted at potentially releasing articulated dinosaur figures and then they didn't really give us any kind of like an update on that but we now officially have confirmation that they are doing just that as we have this image here showing off an articulated velociraptor which will be their first release i believe in this line it looks incredibly beautiful they did put up some information on this stating that they are potentially going to be reworking the figure a little bit maybe adding in some more articulated joints potentially in the tail and stuff I'll be very excited to see exactly what they do with it but it looks great already and I think that this is an incredibly smart move on the part of Nanmu a direction that is absolutely worth heading in because articulated dinosaur figures currently are probably like the hottest thing going so 
Nanmu jumping into the game is absolutely not a bad thing. So really excited about this, can't wait to learn more, and uh, again, of course, pick the figures up when they do officially release. And then a huge thank you goes out to Collect Jurassic, as always, for these images, but we have quite a few images here of the upcoming WoW Stuff Real FX Baby T-Rex. We did know we were going to be getting one of these, we knew we were going to be getting a T-Rex, and we did see a very small image, kind of like a very pixelated image a while back of it, but we have some really good high quality images of it, and I think it looks so much better now with these new images giving us a way better look at this, and definitely looks like what I would expect Rexy to look like when Rexy were a baby, you know, because that's exactly what this is. Obviously, it's meant to be Rexy when she was a baby and I feel like the similarities to the way that the young T-Rex looks in the Lost World Jurassic Park are pretty on point with what we see here on this version with just some slight differences again maybe making this one look a little more female-ish and absolutely excited to get my hands on this I do have the real FX Velociraptor blue which I love but having a T-Rex version I think is going to be even cooler no word quite yet on when this is going to release but once it does I will definitely be picking it up and then when it comes to Dino Dream, we have the full reveal of the upcoming Tranquilized Tyrannosaurus Rex. In my last news video, I mentioned the fact that they were going to be releasing this, and someone had mentioned they wished there would be a cage with it. And as you can see, there definitely is a cage with it. This is our first chance to actually see it completely finished, again, painted up and everything. And it looks absolutely incredible. Like, I am so excited about this because it's so different than your usual Jurassic model or statue this isn't something i've ever seen anyone kind of recreate until now so really impressive on the part of dino dream to find something that we actually don't have a model of from the jurassic franchise especially when it comes to the first few films and create it for us so it's something that i'm definitely going to be adding to my collection and something i will of course be reviewing here on the channel when it does release and then as far as mattel goes when it comes to their upcoming final clash pack we've got a few new images here checking it out making sure that we can see how nice it looks i think the t-rex looks absolutely awesome really like the new paint apps on it and you know not anything super revolutionary but i feel like it's probably one of the best looking versions of a mattel tyrannosaurus that we've had in the main line so far and then of course we also have the velociraptor you know there's nothing super impressive about the raptor considering it is just another one of those epic damage velociraptors with a lack of neck articulation and kind of the short stubby tail but it still looks pretty cool again it's nice to have a jurassic park style raptor in this lineup so i am excited to get a hold of it regardless but definitely a pretty cool looking set coming from mattel but on top of that and even more exciting news and the final thing that i have and of course both the previous few images as well as this are thanks again to collect jurassic but we have a reveal for more epic attack figures as we have the dimetrodon and atrociraptor and it's very exciting to see these because we didn't even know we were going to be getting an epic attack atrociraptor but the dimetrodon is something that i was really quite hyped about i also heard potentially rumblings of a hammond collection dimetrodon which i would be over the moon excited about because i'm a pretty big fan of dimetrodon but definitely can't wait to get these as well because i'm really quite enjoying the epic attack line not everybody's cup of tea it seems but it's definitely mine so really happy to see more entries into this line if only they would actually start getting them here at a local walmart and start updating them because we haven't really had any since the first run and uh you know, there's been quite a few, like the two-pack with the T-Rex and Pachycephalosaurus, as well as the other one with the Raptor and Ford Explorer that we just have not got, uh, you know, a release for in the United States quite yet. But definitely some more fun stuff from Mattel, and of course, more stuff to look forward to, along with all of the other stuff that we know already that they will be releasing at some point in the near future. So as of right now, guys, that's all the news I've got. When more comes out, I'll be sure to send it your way. But until then, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.